Bonjour, and welcome to yet another stupid vlog. There is the cat. Hi, <laughs> Dubarski. What? I am in uh, Valla Lolid, something like that. It's a really stupid name. You cannot pronounce it, so I'm going to put it as a title here. I've been in this city for like one or two weeks, so I can't even remember. I stayed in a super fancy neighborhood. I love staying in super fancy neighborhoods. They're so quiet and so nice. Uh, but we were out shopping today and I figured I needed a change of location, so that's why I'm here. This is a standard car parking lot, but what's so great about it is that it's right next to a park of some sort. And this park, as you can see, is very well maintained. So that means hopefully my cat won't get any ticks on him. I'm just gonna spend the night here because tomorrow, finally, we go to Portugal. Gosh, I've been waiting for this. I had some business to deal with, so that's why I got stuck here for a bit. Let me show you what I bought. A wheel of some sort to exercise the stomach with. I tried this in the store. It's really, it's really tough, um, but I'm not gonna demonstrate it to you. Absolutely not. And of course I bought the Olympic rings because I forgot mine two videos ago at the cemetery, remember? And I bought something really, really heavy. This is a dumbbell set, 20 kilos all in all. So I have two short bars, but in addition, I also bought four of these, five kilos discs. So all in all, I have 40 kilos that I can use for exercising with. And then I bought some small stuff like uh, a ring you squeeze on and uh, this, I don't know what this is, but you can stretch it to do different exercises with. Pretty cool. And here comes the real challenge. I need to organize all of my new equipment into this area where I keep the rest of the gym equipment and leveling blocks. These are extremely illegal in Spain, by the, by the way. <laughs> it's, don't, don't tell anyone you have leveling blocks, otherwise the police will get you. Oh, look at that. I managed to fit everything inside the front of my car. The biggest problem I've had is about to get resolved. These are a bunch of very long metal rods that you use for the awning. They are always in my way. They have been on the floor where I step on them. They have been in the front of the car where they sort of glide into and nestles in with my driving feet that I use for gas and braking. I've had them in the back of the car, in the trunk of the car. The problem then is of course that they are in the way when I need to get other things out. I've also had these in this storage on the top of the car. But the problem then is that I have all these food items there and other stuff. So again, these are always in the way. I've never had a good solution for these, where to store it. I bought these, some kind of elastic hooks. I can put this on the wall and then I can wrap this around whatever it is that I'm trying to attach to the wall and they go right on top of here. I put up my hooks with uh, some kind of a power stripes, they call it, basically double-sided tape. I can't believe it took me four years to fix that. I have been struggling with these, having them all over the car, they have never found their place. Now they have their place. I'm so happy about that. This, it's sort of a decor wallpaper, I believe they call it. I have this on both sides of the bed. And of course on this side over here, I have been wanting to put the same type of decor paper also right here. This is the back side of my fridge. This is the back side of my kitchen hob. There's a lot of brown color in the car. This just makes it a little bit too much brown. Actually, I have an idea. I bought this, which is some kind of an insulation material that I wanted to put inside of my fridge to make it better insulated. The idea that just struck me is that I might as well put this here on the back side of the fridge and then cover it up with this on top of it. It took me several hours I think two hours to just put this one piece up. That's a lot of work. A park bench. 
it's my workspace. And of course, my cat is giving me all kinds of troubles here. <laughs> I really do not know what I am doing. I'm a, I'm a computer programmer. This is not my, my thing, but we'll see. I managed to cut a, the insulation piece I'm going to put up there, but we're losing daylight very fast here. Um, I thought we were going to finish everything today and then go to Portugal tomorrow. But what we're going to do is we're going to stay two nights here instead. And I'm going to keep working on the car tomorrow. And two days from now, that's when we go to Portugal. I'll cut back to you tomorrow when we keep on working with the car. I thought I was going to stay one more extra day. But I woke up this morning. As usual, I hate staying. I get tired of a location so fast. I floored it and I drove all the way to Portugal. Now we're in Portugal. This is a free motorhome area. It's situated right beneath a super beautiful park that is very well maintained. And above that park is a castle. And as you can see, keeping your awning out here is perfectly fine. It's not illegal criminal activity that needs to be punished like in Spain. Here, people are free. Today, I'm gonna to focus on completing the decor wallpaper on the fridge. Okay, let's get started. What do you think? Not so bad, huh? I'm going to add some decorations here too, but especially this section I'm super proud of. There's one layer of insulation material, and then on top of that, one layer of the decor wallpaper. That's pretty cool. It's like the insulation layer is completely hidden. I only added one decoration for now. And the colors of this sign kind of inherits the colors of the rest of the car here. So it blends in really well. I fastened this with my new favorite tool, the power strips or power stripes, whatever these are called. If and when I want to take this off, I don't have to bend and twist this open, which could cause damage to the wall, or in this case, wallpaper behind it, right? I just pull on this little thing and it comes right off the wall. Do you like this new wallpaper I put up? Add a comment to this video so that I know. I'm going to take it real chill tonight and relax. I'll cut back to you tomorrow when we go and visit the castle, plus one extra surprise that I have planned. This is the outside of the castle. Looks like it's a pretty small one. <laughs> Cute bikes, huh? Before we go inside the castle, I want to go up on that wall over there. Okay, we have a little bit of a better view here. <laughs> we we just passed the ticket office. Everybody, me including, just walked past it. So it's free of charge. Splendid. This is a little bit cool, I suppose. I really do not see anything interesting here, to be honest. But there appears to be a museum up this way. I believe you can walk up these towers, but that's pretty boring. <laughs> this, is, this is the museum. It's basically two times two square meters with some odd pictures hanging on the wall. One little interesting thing that I just noted is this in the floor. And at the bottom, they have thrown a whole bunch of money down there. I hate museums. They are so boring, so, so boring. Oh no, it's glued shut. Is this open? Nope. Maybe this one is open. It was open, but empty. Yeah, before I get too lost in here, let's get out of here. Thank God I didn't pay for this. Had I paid in the ticket office, I would have been so disappointed now. I have one more thing lined up. Let's go there now.
<laughs> I can almost not believe it. Of course, they allow car traffic here. Um, uh, on my way to where we want to go, I found this, which appears to be lots of small abandoned houses in complete ruins. Look, this is so worn down, I wouldn't even go here, even if someone paid me. All of this is just gonna fall in at any moment's notice. And look, even more weird stuff over here. What the hell? <laughs> Do you see all the spider web on, on this handle? I don't wanna touch it. This is what I wanted to see. A miniature garden. If you want to see more next year, insert a coin. Well, there's nothing more to it than this. I'm so sorry about the loud bells. How can you deal with, this, with these bells if you live in a village like this? I would go crazy. These bells have been going on now for several minutes. Ah! <laughs> Okay, friendlies, that's gonna be it for this video. But stay tuned, because more videos are coming up. Not from this area, but from Portugal, I believe. <laughs> See you in the next one. Ciao.